Heipa hei, it's Reiko Kovasin here with another video for Paper Garden. This time I'm making this sugary sweet art journaling spread. My inspiration for this spread came from this little printable photo of a lady reading a book. So I decided to use that as my focal point and that also set the color palette. I'm first adding the pieces of patterned or printable paper to my journal and because I only have left kind of one piece of the patterned paper I then need to add another one to the other side. I'm matching the direction of the prints so they will look nice together. I'm using double-sided tape to adhere the pieces to my journal and then add a layer of clear gesso on top before continuing. As the gesso blocks the paper, I'm able to then add an uh, inked layer on top by just pressing the ink pad to the page because the ink doesn't absorb into the fibers of the paper directly because the gesso is blocking it. So I can just push the pad to the paper and then use a wet brush to move the ink around. I also use the kind of bottom of my spray bottle to add these teacup signs to the page. I thought that they would echo the leisure time in a way because tea and then reading and just relaxing. After adding some splashes to the ink layer as well, I then use heat tool to dry it. Then I add some stamping to the background. I chose this bigger paper garden stamp sheet and I'm not mounting it anyway, I'm just randomly and adding some visual texture. And this stamp has different kinds of fonts and types, so it kind of echoes the book relation I have going. On top I then use stencil and modeling paste and make a dimensional layer. I again chose this letter patterned stencil to further heighten the literature connection I have go going. I then let the modeling paste air dry before I can continue. While the paste was drying, I cut loose all the little elements I'm going to use in this spread and now I'm inking the edges. These all came from paper garden printables. I'm adding the ink to them to kind of highlight the edge a little bit and also tie in together the inky background and the elements coming on top. I then start to make the compositions in my hand by layering the different elements, starting with a bigger one and then adding a doily on top and then checking how everything is situated, connected to the focal point. When I'm happy with the composition, I use a stapler to attach the layers together and then afterwards I can still tuck in little elements to make the composition a little bit fuller. I'm also making another composition for the other page because the focal point is coming to the right hand side, I'm adding a little bit of something to the left also. I'm using foam tape to mount the elements or clusters to the page, but also use the foam tape here and there to make the composition a little bit dimensional. When I'm then happy with the main elements, I attach the clusters to the page and there's a little gap because I edited a bunch of out here in the video. So next you will see almost the ready page where I also added the letters, foam letters to the other side, to the left hand side, stating words. That echoes the sticker I actually added on top of the focal point to the right hand side. That sticker says we are beyond words. So now it's just adding a little bit of these tickets, smaller elements, tucking them into the composition. And then I left these two roses as kind of the last detail. And I'm using foam tape to adhere them to the page. The other one I'm placing to the right side and the other one to the left, tying everything together. Then I'm also adding these die cut kind of vintage button-like embellishment the same way, the other one to the right and other one to the left. And after that, the spread is done. I hope you liked the video and if you did, please consider subscribing and hit that bell sign to be notified when a new video comes live. I try to have a new video each Friday on my channel.
there's going to be another video here in my channel on the 15th but then there's going to be a gap because of the holidays and then the last video of 2023 is going to be published on the 29th. Thank you so much for watching and I'm wishing you sweet holidays and also great end of 2023. I'll be seeing you again. Thanks. Bye.